This is a new Linda White tailstock extension. It's a great tool for doing work that needs some support on your uh, aft end. The typical type of work that we're trying to talk about are small and medium sized spindles up to seven inches long where you need some support on the outboard end. This is typically how your project would look when you're finished. And you can see that when you're talking about small diameter work, you do need some support because you want a minimum uh, amount of vibration on these smaller diameter cuts. I've installed the fixture by using two 5 16 screws, one here and one here. And what we want to do is all we need to do to align this fixture is slide the tailstock in till I can see it exactly meets the point of my spur. Once I know it's there, I just tighten it, I just move it just a little bit, and now I'm ready to go. And one of the features with this tailstock is that it's spring-loaded with a, a driver nut in the back. So once I put my part in there, it'll have plenty of tension to hold it in place. There's two ways to do this project. You can leave it just like this and follow along the taper. And where the taper breaks out, that's where you stop your infeed cut. Another way to do this is to make sure that your cross slide is set parallel to your work, then break the cross slide loose and turn it to any degree that you would like, maybe one, two, three, four degrees, and just make sure that the project has the same degree taper all the way down the length of the project. All right, now let's make a cut and see how it looks. So we're going to move the cutter down 5 eighths of an inch and we'll take another cut. Maybe about 10 more thousand until this corner is nice and crisp. When that corner is nice and crisp, you know, that's where we want to stop. We'll do that the full length of this cut. We have a beautiful spindle in less than about 20, 25 minutes. It also, though, takes about 20 to 25 minutes to make the setup and make sure that everything's good and square and lined up. But when you're done, you'll have a beautiful sp spinial that you'll be proud to own for any project. And the, of course, the last part of the project is you take the finial when it's done, take it over to your lathe, put it back in, and turn the end, turn it off in your hand. It takes a little bit of practice using your left hand to support the work and cut it off. So that's the last part of the project, and when you're done, it would make a beautiful uh, finial for a Christmas ornament or any other project.